out here in Auburn today with a man. Well, if you were a modified fan in Central New York for a lot of years, you remember him very well. Ryan Phelps joins me uh, right now. First of two interviews that we did with Ryan. I know some of you guys say you'd rather have me split them up. Some of you say you'd rather like them, you know, all in one. But uh, we're going to try not to move along too quickly like we do with some of these. Ryan actually started racing originally at age four. He got an interesting nickname from that. Went to the Microd Club at age 12 and 13. Did a four-cylinder. Did a dwarf car. Did a slingshot. Did sportsman before eventually moving up to modified at age 19. We're going to start with the first half of his career in this one first of all. How we doing, man? How are you? I haven't seen you in forever. Just just been really busy. Um, just, uh, you know, stopped racing because I was so busy with everything. And uh, I've never stopped being busy. We're just, just busy, you know. But uh, everything's good. We uh, we relocated to Baldwinsville from where we lived out yeah, in New York. Yeah, dad's old place. Uh, well, no, I mean like my home. Like oh, I, we I moved. see. Yeah, like we bought a house out here. So we live we live closer and used to live in Newark. So it was a long drive. and So we did all that. And, uh, yeah, just, just been busy and everything's going really well. Yeah, he actually gave up a full-time teaching job to do this. So that tells you how good business is. So let's go all the way back. You're four years old. You're obviously Roger Phelps' son. A racing career is somewhat in your future. Or did you think that when you were four? Or were you just going out there to have some fun? I mean, when I was four, I don't know if you know any different. You know what I mean? But uh, honestly, I don't even really remember it when I was four. But they, they did call me Wrong Way Ryan. <laughs> um, it's kind of a funny story. You actually went the wrong way and started he, turning right instead of left, going around the track. Yeah, like my dad sort of fibbed and said that I was five. I was only four. <laughs> supposed to be five to race at the micro track. So um, basically... Um, I went out, it was like an open practice before the season, mm -hmm. got the car already, I guess. Again, I don't remember a lot of this, but um, I guess I went the wrong way on the track, and they're like, you know, oh, no, this, this guy, uh, yeah, he's not ready. So yeah. that was that was my short-lived racing career at four, uh, at four years old. Yeah, when Allie had a tough night, her first night actually used that story. I told her, hey, at least you went the right way on the <laughs> yeah. race track. So, so you were out for a little bit. What got you back in? You, you, you believe it was 11 or 12. You're pretty sure it was 12. What got you back in then? Uh, just my dad had, uh, he had put together a thing. I think it was, uh, was Keith Titus, the guys, the guys that own, uh, page transportation now uh it was a deal with them uh like andy fusco was involved uh late late andy fusco rest his soul yeah, nice guy. You, um yes but uh his son adam raced um i i raced and my dad sort of you know helped maintain the cars along with uh with andy and uh, andy used to actually take us around we'd go to like i remember we'd go to like some series races like in Cortland and mm -hmm. sodas and some different places and you know, I was just a little kid back then, but thinking back to it, um, it was a lot of fun, and uh, it was actually really competitive. I'm sure it's still the same way, mm -hmm, you know, is. almost like Pop Warner football or whatever. With par you know, parents get real wound up and stuff. But, yeah, where the kids um, just keep playing. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. I, I remember, like, I, I think I, I started almost like a like a fight, <laughs> like one of my first races. Really? Uh, at the Mike Red track, and so somebody's dad was going to beat up my dad. And, I, I was like 11, but I, I don't really remember. <laughs> Overall, it was like a really cool experience, but um, very, it was very. I remember being very competitive, and um, and uh, you know we won some races and had a lot of fun with it, and um, you know enjoyed ourselves. And you told me you actually were co-champions the yeah, second yeah, year, right? Yeah, my second year, I, I think we were co-champion with somebody. I think it was Dustin Gears. Um, did that, I remember him. and um, you know ra race with some good friends like uh, Keith Champagne. Uh, he used really? to race back then. His little brother Kyle. Um, Chris Natoli raced back then with us. I think he races some other stuff now. Mm. So a lot of people that went on to do other racing things, um, we all sort of raced together back then. Nice. So at age 14 now, it was time for something different, although the four-cylinder you told me didn't last very long. Yep. So the four-cylinder, I don't know whose car it was, but my, my dad, he, he bought me, like, the best car. Like, whoever, whatever the best car was, he was, he was really nice it. to me about it. And I had a super-fast car, super-fast engine. And I had no idea what I was doing. I was just like a 14-year-old kid. I was at, was at Brewerton, and um, I went out there. And I remember my second race out, I was running second place. And it was like, good, you know, second race. You're yeah. you know, going for the win or whatever. We're but fine. I mean, I just had a really fast car, I think. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, so um, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd hit the steering wheel. You know, I wasn't holding the wheel right, whatever. I, I'd, hit, I'd hit, a, hit a tire, you know what I mean? And uh, I broke my wrist. I kept racing. I, I faded back to, like, seventh. And funny story was my dad's like, oh, you know, you, you wussied out at the end there. And, you know, um, 
I kept saying, oh, my wrist, my wrist just really hurt. I couldn't yeah. hold the wheel and I couldn't. And, um, ah, you know, he, he kind of was, was, uh, give, giving me the business about it. And then, uh, you know, it had turned out that, uh, that I actually broke my wrist really bad. And, um, he, he felt really bad about, about it afterward, I, I think. And then, uh, that was the end of, that was the end of that. Yeah, you year. had a surgery and everything, didn't you? Uh, yeah, they, it was like a hard bone to fix. It was called like a scaphoid or something. And they had to like drill a screw in it. And wow. yeah, that was it for that whole year. Okay, and next year you decided to do so. Oh, and I want to make sure thumb was inside the wheel. That's how that happened, right? Yeah, you were grabbing it yeah, the wrong way, something right? Something like that, and mm-hmm. just just broke it. Yes, yeah, so. for all the young kids out there, make sure you're holding the wheel right. This is a very <laughs> common injury. We used to we saw it twice when you're in the Mike Rod Club, uh, by the way. So went to dwarf cars after that. That had to be quite the change. Yeah, I think they had like an 1100 class and a 600 class, and I, I did the 600 class, um, and I raced raced at Brewerton with that. Um, David Gruel, I think he, oh, he yeah. runs. Yeah, he runs a, Super modified, uh, a Swego now. I actually uh, ran into him at uh, Dave and Buster's the other day. So, no you know, kidding. now we're all old and we're at Dave and Buster's with the kids. <laughs> Got in a video ran, game and had a quick race, Yeah, I ran into him, and, you know, he's he's always trying to get our scrap business for, um, oh, you know, the okay. used cars because he, he does that. A&P, um, right, yeah. Uh, he's not at A&P. Oh, he's doing his own deal, okay. He's at a company in Syracuse, I think. But, um, okay. So, so we, we talk once in a while, you know, yeah. about that stuff. But uh, race with him for like a whole season, back and forth, and uh, that was a lot of fun. I bet um, with the with the dwarfs. And then slingshots the next year. I remember when they were running that at Utica. Did you race against Mike Mahaney? Do you think or no? I, I don't remember racing against not Mike sure. Mahaney. Huh? Okay, I might have. I don't remember mm-hmm. doing it. Um, but I I remember we ran Utica Rome and we ran some other places. I think I went to Paradise once. Yep. And I could have sworn we raced at Brewerton at one point, but Doug's telling me no. Yeah, I don't so remember if, them racing there. If you yeah, guys do, it, please send us a message yeah, on the bottom here and let have. us know. I, so. I, I don't know. But we raced, We definitely raced the uh, the slingshot around. That, that was cool. Um, I hear it's a good trainer if you're going to Sportsman or Modified. It, yeah, I mean, again, it's, it was so long ago. You know what I mean? It's, remember, hard to, huh? okay. it's hard to remember all that. Um, <laughs> I don't like getting old, but. Yeah, so you were, let me see, 16, I believe, by now, right, in the slingshots? Yeah, because okay. I went sportsman when I turned 17. Okay, and I and did you catch on to the sportsman right away? Because you told me your second year was really good, but did you catch on quickly or no? Yeah, no, we had a lot of fun in sportsman. Um, we were a top five car our first year. Um, we ran Can-Am on Saturdays, um, and I think we did a little bit of wheat sport, but not a lot. But yeah, Bruden wasn't running them then, were they? Uh, no, no, yeah, Bruden never yet. ran sportsman when I ran sportsman. Yeah, until later they ran sportsman. Sportsman, right, so, okay. so so we ran Can Am. Um, I think my dad ran the big block then. Oh, I that was ran, nice. Yeah, I ran the Sportsman, and uh, you know we went up. We all just had a lot of fun. It was probably the most fun we had racing. Although yeah. like first year big block was really fun too. But um, we had you know my my crew guy Ryan Miller. You know we've been together for like I don't even know. T- had to be twenty. 20 years, uh, you know, or more, we raced together. Uh, so, you know, we'd go up together, have fun, and um, had, had a bunch of other guys that would come and pitch in and help. And it, it was like a real low-key thing, but we actually ran good, and there just wasn't a lot of pressure. So that was one okay. big difference between the sportsman and Big Black is uh, there, there was never any pressure. It was just you're just having fun, and uh, and we had uh, we had a really good time doing it. Re- estimates right around a half a dozen wins. So after that season, you had gotten some wins now. It was your second year in a big open-wheel style car. Did you know right away that it was time to move up, or was that there was some discussion there? No, I don't know why. Again, it's 37 now, it was, you know, 20 years ago. I don't know kind of like what sort of made us decide, like, okay, we're going to go big block now. But I think, I think it was just that my dad was – ready to get out of doing it. So he got out, and then yeah, you became the only big yeah, block in the house? Yeah, and okay. um, we sort of switched the same year and um, ended up racing Brewer and Big Block that following year. But um, the year before, we really did have a lot of success. I mean, we won a sportsman race like at Rolling Wheels. I think we won a couple at Wheat Sport. We won a few at Can-Am. I think we won one at Fulton. Um, so we had, you know, we had a lot of fun, you yeah. know, traveling around. We ran a lot of the series races. Like uh, one funny story was – there was a race in Gasport out in out in Canada there, and uh, my dad said, "No, you, you guys absolutely can't go. You know, not not allowed. Like we're not we're not taking the car to Canada." And so me and me and my, me and my f- couple friends there, Ryan Miller and I think Todd Chapman, who races now in the late model, uh, we we just we just did it anyway. Oh <laughs> and, really? Uh, yeah. Um, which looking back, I mean, that was probably not a, not the best thing that I did as a 17 year old. But uh, we we went out and we raced. Luckily, we ran good. Like we finished okay. in the top five and. Um, you know, my dad, my dad found out he was, he was a little, what are, what are you talking about? You know, and luckily the race went well. And so, so we went to a bunch of tracks, like we didn't just okay. run local and 
I think at that point, um, yeah, we were ready to just move up, and my dad was getting out. We had some modified equipment laying around. Uh, I think he had a big block, and it just kind of made sense. You and know? we're going to get to the next part coming up in the next one. We are just about out of time. Hit the bluey down there, guys, and I'll subscribe you. Modifieds for Ryan Phelps coming up in the next clip.